Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is the second and last video in my uh, des guest design team project for collage type and the kit that we're doing is called Garden Gate. In video one we did all of the basics. We put our book together and then we talked about the way we were going to put our pages in. The one thing I forgot to do is glue the two sections together. However, um, I went through and um, I told you I was going to have to do some stuff off camera because we weren't going to have enough time but we're going to put it together and I'm going to explain what I did um, so that you know and that you can do it in yours. Also on a side note you can keep going with this. You can keep making the two page um, envelope parts and gluing them on forever and then just use lace to cover. Now I'm not sure if we're going to use lace. Um, I went ahead and put this glossy accent butterfly on the cover and now I'm not sure I have room for lace. So we'll have to see if we're going to put lace on there or not. We probably won't even need it. These will be together like this. This is going to be kind of fat and um, oh I forgot to go get the um, embroidery floss. I'll have to put you on pause when it's time for that and go grab it. Um, <clears throat> so this is what I did while we were gone. We had already put the cover paper on and put the closure on. What I did was I remembered we were not doing a manila folder project and so I went and I took the brad back off and I took this back off and I put um, a flower. I cut out a circle image from a flower. Um, it's one of the tulips and put it on here. Then as you can see I've been busy with the glossy accents. Let me hold it up to the camera uh, like that and then you can see like that. Whoops I'm going to drop it. And so what I did was I highlighted the flowers. I highlighted the edges of the flowers and then I did completely glossy accented this here and then I did this down here and I did this up here. Whoops, this up here. Okay, I was trying to look in the camera to see if you were seeing the gloss at the same time and then my pointing was a little bit off. Okay, all right. So I did that, but we had already glued the picture on. I got a little busy with the glossy accents. Um, so then we have this pocket here. We'll talk about that in a second. And then I've gone ahead and picked out the pages and the, the two pockets. Now remember we only have four pages. So we actually have this many half papers left over plus the full pages here. Now I reduced this down to 85% um, I thought and made a card somewhere. Maybe not. But you could because you'll see in just a minute that I did that with quite a few. Oh, my hands are so cold my ring won't stay. Um, so this is what we have left. So you have plenty. Now remember you have the left side has to have this part and the right side has this part so that it looks like a book. Okay and we're gonna this is a pocket side so it's not as large so we're gonna have to trim it down but we'll do all that. But my point is is that you've got plenty of pages left over that you can uh, reduce these to 85 percent and then um, or actually it's reducing these to 85 percent. You might have to reduce this a little bit more because it's a full page and these aren't quite as big. So um, that's just a side note just so you know 85 percent of one of these pages right here will make the perfect size card for in here. Okay maybe 90 percent. These are a smidge small but not too much. Okay so I've decided what um, paper I'm going to put. I've decided what pockets I'm going to put. I still have some glossy accents to do but I decided to wait until we got it put together like these two these three butterflies need to be highlighted or something to go along with the rest of the um, the book and the accents. 
<clears throat> excuse me, that we're going to put in. And then we come to the part where we're going to glue them together and have an envelope. Oops, this is the paper that goes here. I'm sorry. This is the part where we're going to glue them together. I've got this um, paper clipped and I'm not sure why. What comes off? Nothing. Okay. I think I meant to paper clip this to this and I accidentally got the whole thing. Well, if we're going to do that, we could just turn this over. This is what I'm going to put here. I'm going to cut it to be the size and then we're going to put this long pocket on with the uh, little file folders inside and uh, we're going to talk about the ephemera in a minute. I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to use because of the pages I used to highlight the the pages that I like the best in the kit. Um, but there's lots of other great pages. I mean, they're all great. But um, I absolutely love these tulips. Oh, on a side note, another side note, if I could do it again, um, I would have put something like this paper in the middle here and not the big flower, even though it looks good, I would have put something more neutral to give me a little more leeway on putting the pictures on either side. Okay? Alright, so just keep that in mind. And remember, you can keep going. You can just add another one onto here, take your back page off and put another one on and glue it and make another pocket and just keep going. Okay? So let's do this. If we've got this here and nothing's paper clipped to that, let's go ahead and make our make our pocket before we lose our minds here. Okay, we want the pocket here, so we just want to glue one of them. You know what? I made mine I wanted to make mine a top pocket. Can you see where I inked it? That's why I inked it there. Ink whatever side you want to be a pocket before you glue it. Sorry about that. I kept pointing to the side. You know what though? The way these cards are. I've got some that are printed on two sides that would work in between here as a push down card. Okay, I'm going to go with my original plan. Because we've got the tie that's going to go around, so I didn't want any um, of the cards sticking out towards the side. Wow, I'm making that really narrow, aren't I? Okay, so then we're going to glue these two together. probably should have taken everything off. Okay, let's see how we're doing. And I had cut this off on the back one because I thought, well, I'll make double pockets, but then that wasn't going to work. You know what I mean? Double pockets on the back one, which I still could. I'm still thinking about that because that way it would make it different than the first signature. I'm going to call them signatures. Yeah, that went there. Now I've got a top loading card right here, which is going to be narrow. 
it would have been bigger a lot bigger to do a side pocket but I didn't want to have a tab sticking out where my ties going around okay so now let's glue this in and this is going to be more of a look at me page everything's been inked I've been very very busy we're going to have to ink that other one the one right next to me when we trim it I forgot about that but I hadn't picked which was going to go where before I um, decided I mean before I inked You're outside with chainsaws, so you'll have to excuse all that. They're cutting down trees that died over the winter. Okay, you're going to have to push down and get, get it glued down around, taking into account the front button. Okay. slide that a little bit okay now this one I'm going to take the pocket off and then we need to measure and we want this to be on the outside remember so we need to measure what part of this to cut off and see that's why I wish I had to put that in there and I could have matched it up and you would have been all impressed <laughs> Okay, we've got the right height so all we need to do is figure out the width that we need for the pocket which is going to be right about there and you have to be careful because these um, well these are cream colored anyway I was going to say but it's not it's not hard to end up with everything looking a little scruffy Oops put this card on top of all my little glossy accented critters I'm gonna do this off camera so if I put my cutter over there and make trimmer over there then I have to move everything you guys probably can't even hear that chainsaw but it's very very aggravating okay so let's see how we're doing. That looks pretty good. If I can get it moved over where it's supposed to go. Yeah, and now see that looks like a book page and this looks like a book page. All right, so let's get this inked real quick. We're not inking it to within an inch of its life. Sorry about that. I might have I might have just hit the mic. I don't know for sure. <laughs> and I put that amount of ink on the corners so I can kind of smoosh it around. Fabri-Tac or Fabri-Fix. It's kind of funny. I mix and match. I actually mix them in this bottle when I refill because sometimes I just don't pay attention to what I'm using um, to keep them refilled at the same one all the time. Okay. And then what I'll do is I will go back through and do the glossy accents and then we'll come back at the very end and I'll show you the whole thing. Yeah, see, I wish I hadn't done the, the tulip. Okay, then we're going to put this pocket here to match this over here. Oh, I know what the problem is trash can had a hold of my audio cord okay. now 
this is a bit busy um, more so than what I would normally do um, these two match which is the main thing for me like I said I wish I had done something neutral here but that's just something that you can do um, and learn from me um, these pockets right here the three there's three parts that look like it looks like this when you cut it out and you just fold these parts in and then it makes for a little bit deeper pocket now the one we're going to use in the back side that long skinny one was also made that way but I wanted it to be flat and be tighter to the page so I cut these off bit of a crooked thing going here and it's kind of throwing everything off let me check it from the front make sure I don't need to trim anything okay now I use I usually um, what way do I usually do it no I usually do this to hold these two down so you want to put glue all the way down and all the way up on these on the side go ahead and stick this one to those and then put glue on this and don't put your knuckle in the glue on number three <laughs> I don't know who would ever do that and then flip it over and then you're going to glue it down and make sure all three sides stay underneath actually I want to put it right above and put it right here so we have the book page thing going all the way around And then we're going to take these three pieces of ephemera now this I cut crooked but um, you wouldn't have known if I hadn't told you probably but these look like this on the ephemera page you can cut them apart if you want or if you're careful you can leave them attached and then it makes one of these okay so I printed this two-sided and then I inked the outside, I inked the inside and I inked the little seam. Okay, so this is going to go here and that matches the tulip. This is going to go here. And this is going to go here we want to fill up this pocket so nothing comes out because it isn't a flat pocket I'm going to put the glossy accents over here and I may highlight these flowers I don't know so then we flip it over and on this side it's going to be this long thin one this is kind of the tulip section but first remember the we want to keep that paper part uh oh Oz has woken up Oz Get away from the door. Well, I guess that's not going to work. Hold on just one second. 
Oh, maybe he stopped. I think he stopped on his own. No, well, maybe not. Okay, so we're going to glue this here. So we need to do just like we did with the other one. I'm going to have to cut this. Now this is going to cut this banner off. So we are going to try to use one of these up here to cover this part. We'll be able to, um, I don't know though, we're putting that long pocket there. We'll have to wait and see. But it was one of the lighter lefties. That's what I'm calling them, lefties and righties. So I wanted to put it over there because of all the tulips going on. See, if I would have put this in the middle on the other one, it would have looked, it would have matched like this matches. So I don't mean to keep talking about it, but I'm, I'm just trying to, I don't know what I'm trying to do, help you. So now these would have made great belly bands if you needed them somewhere. So save those, especially if you're going to expand your book and make it bigger, which you most certainly can. There's plenty of pages and plenty of ephemera to go around. There's all this ephemera and I'm not sure how much, if any, that we're going to be able to use. I did ink it. Um, on a side note, I... Um, I uh, used what are called decalage scissors, which are these. I, mine are like kids school ones. And they have this design on here and they look like this. And they cut like that. Wow, my neighbor's making a lot of noise going up the stairs. So, We're going to have to go back and look. I love this little butterfly one. And see if and where we can fit anything in. If we can't, um, it's only because it's such a small project because we've only got two videos. If we had more videos and a bigger project, um, I'm sure that you would be able to use, you know, all of this stuff. Let me set that in the basket. So it's right there. All right, now we need to ink this. Let's double check it again. And you could probably see on camera that card sitting right here. I took the ephemera of the roses and I did cut that out. Um, and then I put glossy accents on it. And then I glued it in the center. If you can see where I highlighted the roses. the ephemera I bumped with my hand. Okay, so that's there. We're going to put this pocket here. See, it's the same background paper. Put this here. If we put it up higher, you can cover this. You can't tell what it is, but it should be centered. 
that will still help. And you see I cut the edges off. to make it a flat pocket. Okay. And then I'll show you about the um, these little file folders here too. Now these little file folders come like this printed on the paper. They come like, like this printed on the paper and you just cut it out and then there's a light gray line and you can also see where it changes and you just fold it in half there. Another easy way to know how to fold it is there's a flat part right here and a flat part right here and you just fold it so those two come together. Now I printed it two-sided and then I went back in and I stenciled my roses to match the other roses in the kit um, on here in the uh, vintage photo and I also inked inside and out. Okay. I had printed some extras two-sided, so we'll see if we actually um, absolutely have to, we can cut one of those down skinny, for that tall skinny pocket in the middle. So there's two of them. We're going to put them right in here. wonder if the glue's dried enough. I want to stick them in there permanently. We're going to put them right there. Okay, and we're going to put this page down. I think it's the only um, yeah, I think the other righty page as well. Now, let's hold the boat here. About putting this one here and going ahead and making the pocket. No. Mm -mm. Well, won't be that much of it. I think I'm just going to go with my plan of putting the whole thing on like we like we had on the other one one pocket one full page Like Miss P said, have to have a drink of my rum and coke without the rum. <laughs> In my case and her case, without the coke. It's generic diet cola, something or other that I'm forced to drink. Due to the price of pop going up from 69 cents a two liter to 250, which is ridiculous. But of course, people get to where they don't want to drink anything else. So then they pay it, you know. Even the generic pop has gone way up. Well, I guess it was the generic that used to be 69 cents. Okay. Then I'll come back and do glossy accents on these butterflies too. 
I forgot to do the glossy accents on the pages so it would be done and I could show you. Um, Sorry about that, I'm lining up the page. Not sure exactly how, but this page seems a smidge tone. Hmm. Alright, so now we have our tulip field. Now we have the back cover to put on. Now remember, these full page ones, we have to um, cut them down. We can't just um, cut them in half like these and cut the white off and have them fit. These full page pictures are true 8.5 by 11, so we have to cut them down. I still regret not being able to use this. If I could have thought of a way, I would have. Except I really wanted the garden gate on the front page, obviously. and do wanted to wait I'll have to do it and let each page dry with the glossy accents so I will put you obviously on hold for all that and then we'll come back and take a look okay yeah see how thin that is we don't we don't need the lace there okay now We've got some cards and stuff going on. I put glossy accents on here. I know I keep saying the word glossy accents, but if you could see it in person, you would see how much it adds. We have this envelope that's in the kit. And you open this up. I put some repositional glue on here, or tape. And what that means is you can open and close it, and open and close it, and open and close it over and over again. I cut this down. You need something to put in the center there. Hmm. I'll have to decide. I'll put something in there. I had something picked out and now I forgot what it was. Anyway, and then you just restick it. Then I made this notebook. Oh, I am I am used able to use this page because I shrunk it down and I made a notebook out of it. Okay, this is another generic background that I have. Okay, so we've got this and this. And these. So let's see what we got. Let's put that in there along with the bird envelope. We're going to stuff this little puppy full. Be lots of things to look at and do. This is going to be our look page. And 
there's no real way to put a pocket down here unless we made one that went across but it, we would have had to um, print it another page we could have and then um, put it across as a hidden pocket and then put something in the pocket so remember that because I just now thought of it and um, that could be done very easily and then there's something on this page other than just um, looking at it and I may do that while we're on break okay and then we go here and we've got this already we need something for over here um, there's a pocket right here too so in this pocket we're going to put this these go in here further or can and then in this pocket we're going to put this get in there okay yeah I'm kind of wishing I had made that double pocket right about now now I want to put this somewhere but I don't I know I'll make that pocket and then I'll put this in that pocket that's what I'll do okay now let's take a look at these last few things and then I will put you on break and do those couple of things you know what I'm gonna go ahead and put you on break now I'm gonna go get the ribbon so I can or the floss so I can tie it shut I'll make this pocket and we come back we'll do the birds and the butterflies and then we'll put this in the pocket okay all right I'll talk to you in just one second okay I'm back um the um glossy accents are dry my dog's gonna go crazy because my neighbor's here okay i'm back so i put glossy accents on here and i had to wait for them to dry so i wanted you to see how that turned out so they're all glossy and shiny and this butterfly too up here up here in the corner all shiny they look nice then I put the hidden pocket in here and then if I put the booklet way over there then the flower helps keep the illusion going um, and it still matches over here versus just sticking it in the middle and um, this way it covers up the little birds and the birds are a little surprised when you take it out and um, then on this page right here what I figured I would do instead of putting gloss, glossy accents all over these big butterflies is I realized that the two little butterflies that I had done the glossy accents on were da 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 these two butterflies so what I'm gonna do is I am going to put them in the center of those two butterflies and then it will look like they're kind of 3D even more so than putting the glossy accents on them so let's do that and then we'll put the um, tie on I found a, um, a nice brown to go with the garden gate I have to glue him pretty good not to the middle of the page right here and he'll get smushed kind of flat in the book but such is the life of a bug <laughs> okay so we go here definitely a garden lots of butterflies lots of flowers yeah it's going to take a second for those to dry and then we're going to put the tie on the front and then we'll be done I 
guess the glue kind of squished through and stuck to my finger. Okay. I'm going to want it to stick to the book. I don't want to close the book and then have it stick to the book. It's just that one little spot hasn't dried yet. Right there. Looks like I might have to add some more glossy accents to his little body. Okay, now he's done. Okay, so there's that page. With the butterflies on it. Everything all shiny and beautiful for spring. And he wasn't able to find a place for these two birds. Um, I wonder if I took the branch off, if we could put them down here. like two more birds hanging out mm. no because their legs are not a accented I thought maybe I could hide them behind something but I would have to have a bigger book I think I'm sure I could find a place for them then they'll have a good home in my bird box and I will use them for something I'm sure okay so we're just going to tie this around here and I had to keep messing with it while that was wet to make sure that it didn't glue it to the to the thing. Okay, I'm going to tie a knot. Excuse my knot tying abilities. Okay, up under there once. Come on, get up under there. And then one more time the other way. And then we snip it off. Okay, then we're going to go around twice. Once. Come on, cooperate with me here. Once. Twice and then curl it around twice and we'll cut it off. I wonder if I want to put something on there. Let's see. Let me get my jar of beads out here. I'm sure we have some that match the flowers in this giant jar. Well, these are pretty, but they're too, way too big. They're heavy. Let's see if I can get beads on here even. I didn't even think that. Maybe I better take one. It's the right color. And leave it on there. There it is. There's a rose one. Nope, that's bright pink. Let's try green. We'll try two green ones. Except I'm losing them everywhere. Shouldn't have quite picked up that many, I don't think. Let's see if I can get this um, string through here. I'm not sure about the whole size. Oh, no, there's no way. There's no way floss is going through there. Okay, I'm going to look at my charms and stuff and see. And then when I take the photo for the video, then you'll see if I was able to find anything to add on there or not. Um, okay, so let's do one more quick flip through of what we've got here. So we untie it. We do. We untie it. What happened?
Oh, I went the other way. <laughs> I thought it got caught. Let me undo it. I'm going to trim the end of that. I think I did. Wow. And then we open it up. We got the notebook and all the glossy accent and butterflies. And you take them out and there's your birds. And it's so sweet. And then over here we have our three tickets or two tickets and our flip uh, tag that flips open with writing space inside. We've got our glossy accented butterfly. We have our envelope with our card inside. And we have the booklet that I made out of that beautiful, beautiful page. And that's got writing space on the inside. Okay, and then we go to the second section and we have the large tulip pocket. We have two tags. One is the tulip or two manila folders. Let's see. I think the glue grabbed that one. So I'll have to work on that. The glue right down here, I think, got it. And um, then underneath is this card that you can write on. So pretty. It's too bad it's under there, huh? Wonder. No, that's too much stuff to put underneath. I think that's my favorite thing that I made. It has the, there we go. Okay, and then we have our pretty, pretty page that we just look at with our two butterflies that look so nice. And then we have the back page, and now all I have to do is put glossy accents on those two and let it dry, and then we'll have it. Okay, so that's our book. And that's the kit, Garden Gate. There, let's just do it once. Why don't we just do it once? <laughs> so we don't get all tangled up. And um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I know you'll love the kit. And um, I will see you in the next video series. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.